Thank you very much for uh, the invitation uh, at this uh, prestigious conference. As I'm not a BSD developer, I'm a, a computational linguist. Uh, first and second uh, freelance journalist. Uh, so uh, my talk will be uh, much more relaxed, technical. Much more uh, relaxed, technically speaking, because I'm a journalist. And I will speak about uh, um, technology applied to um, modern uh, investigative uh, methods in journalism including uh, uh, working with anonymous sources of information and uh, uh, using technology to protect the sources and to receive anonymously uh, documents. Uh, I'm representing here uh, my website, uh, uh, bvo.bg, which is an investigative uh, outlet. And uh, also, uh, I'm a spokesman of Balkan Leaks, which is one of the uh, systems used to receive anonymously uh, documents. So we, we have seen in the last years uh, many cases of uh, critical uh, whistleblowing uh, information uh, coming from, uh, from various uh, sources. And uh, um, we, all, we know, like journalists, that uh, uh, this is one of the uh, crucial uh, Inf uh, info uh, information sources for uh, official officials misconduct. Uh, it's, uh, it's bringing light to criminal behavior, uh, especially in uh, uh, corrupted countries. Uh, it's bringing uh, information uh, corroborating other investigative hypotheses because this is, we cannot rely only on whistleblowing, of course. And uh, generally, it, uh, whistleblowers are acting to protect the public interest. Uh, so uh, we have seen that uh, uh, examples coming from WikiLeaks, examples coming from, uh, from lastly, from Snowden, that uh, the, the technology protection and the law protection is also uh, very important to, uh, to keep uh, going uh, uh, those leaks, which which uh, which are not, uh, uh, yes. There is a kind of war against whistleblowers too, uh, tracked by uh, uh, by um, officials, by uh, NSA, by CIA, by. Uh, uh, Russian, Chinese, and uh, <laughs> any kind of secret services you can imagine. Uh, so, uh, <clears throat> but uh, journalists uh, are also under uh, threat. You, you know the case of uh, uh, Glenn Greenwald from The Guardian, who was um, uh, investigated by, for his collaboration with, uh, with uh, Edward Snowden. We have uh, many local cases, including in Bulgaria, you know, uh, the, the big scandal involving uh, uh, snooping of uh, communications of politicians and journalists, the so-called Galeria uh, scandal. So uh, we, uh, we also uh, need to develop this locally, uh, uh, on, uh, not only on global uh, uh, scale. Uh, uh, another uh, simple uh, to understand advantage of uh, whistleblowing is that uh, compared to uh, Freedom of Information Act requests is to, uh, to, uh, that uh, it's much more difficult to get uh, uh, doc doc documents exposing official corruption from, uh, by Freedom of Information Act because in, in a country like Bulgaria, for, uh, which is uh, uh, unfortunately uh, 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 very, where unfortunately institutions are close to citizens, it takes years to take to get a document. For example, we had a case with uh, the customs to take the so-called uh, Michu de Beer case uh, documents. It took took us two years long judicial case and many and money, uh, of course, to take to get this uh, document finally it will take uh, two minutes to a whistleblower to, to submit the same thing. 
so uh, there are many challenges <coughs> to anonymous electronic submission. It should be uh, uh, secure because it's um, even more dangerous uh, than to, to send a letter by uh, in a you know a brown envelope. Uh, because every, everything is trace, uh, traceable now, uh, our days. Uh, so it, it must resist traceability, uh, provide strong anonymity, security, and to be user-friendly. And this is very important because uh, uh, people who are uh, uh, ready to, 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 to give evidence uh, uh, are not technically uh, skilled, uh, usually. So you cannot ask him to... Um, encrypt, uh, to learn PGP, uh, to encrypt the document and to, uh, to send it uh, by encrypted mail. Uh, you have to provide something uh, simpler to, to, the, to the people. So we know, uh, of course, about the uh, classic old and old systems like uh, Cryptomy uh, online from 96. It's almost 20 years. Uh, and uh, uh, supporting submissions by uh, email, PGP, of course. Uh, now they move to, um, to uh, the same system we use. Uh, then was the classic, I, uh, I named it classic system because it had all the, uh, um, the futures of uh, ac actual uh, modern uh, um, uh, systems for uh, uh, anonymous submissions, uh, but uh, unfortunately it, it uh, disappeared. Uh, so WikiLeaks uh, started uh, a Tor submission system, uh, and uh, uh, it had a lot of uh, interesting features, including uh, cover traffic. But uh, when uh, Julian Assange and Daniel Domschitt Burke uh, split it, uh, uh, the architect of the system uh, uh, shut it down and uh, uh, WikiLeaks stopped receiving uh, submissions. And uh, this system was closed source, designed by uh, a single person. So it worked uh, the following way. Uh, whistleblower uh, is sending uh, uh, documents through Tor uh, to a hidden Tor server. So the information is never uh, traveling uh, through uh, uh, open internet. And uh, uh, to, uh, to um, provide further uh, security, there was a cover traffic generated between the, uh, s the workstation and the first node of uh, the Tor system. So if you are listening to the communications, you cannot uh, uh, tell where, at what moment exactly the, uh, the, the leak is, uh, is uh, traveling you know, uh, through the, uh, the network. Uh, so then we had uh, uh, this vaporware uh, coming from uh, the uh, from uh, open uh, open leaks, which never worked. Uh, it, 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 it was a promise, but it never it never uh, actually uh, appeared. And many followers uh, of WikiLeaks, uh, including uh, Balkan Leaks, have a pretty nice list of. Uh, sites uh, receiving leaks, but uh, uh, the problem is was that, that they got no leaks. Uh, uh, so uh, Balkan Leaks was one of the few who uh, who has uh, submissions uh, locally important, and uh, even uh, Assange recognized that it's uh, one of the most successful uh, copycats. Uh, uh, so we, uh, we, we, we had, uh, uh, we, I think the, the reason of this success was first to, 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 to adopt uh, immediately the same model of submitting anonymously through Tor, and second to work closely with journalists. It's, it's a system designed by journalists, uh, and uh, uh, they ask to IT to, to help and to, uh, to a person uh, 
well, to me, uh, to, to represent, to, to, to be the spokesman, um, simply because I'm living abroad, so it's, uh, it's harder for, for uh, to, to, to be under pressure uh, in Bulgaria. Uh, uh, so closely working with journalists is very important to, uh, uh, for the success of such a, of such a system, and uh, it's not, uh, it's, it's probably uh, this best seen in the model developed by uh, New York Times, by Forbes, by other uh, big media outlets. They design their own, own submission, uh, anonymously, anonymous submission system. Uh, and uh, uh, and they use uh, uh, the same model now. Uh, so we uh, we had uh, f some success stories, uh, including uh, information about uh, Masonic uh, lodge in the judicial system. It's uh, a big problem because, of course, judges had to be impartial, and they are not. Uh, we got uh, confidential documents about the Belen nuclear power plant. Uh, and we got leaks about the criminal past of uh, former prime minister uh, and uh, a lot of other stuff. You can see it on the website. And we, were, we are very proud uh, because we were censored uh, uh, by the Council of Europe when we exposed our work there. Last year they uh, decided not to publish the video because we thought we, uh, we, we presented uh, very sensitive uh, stuff. Uh, so uh, this is uh, um, our big achievement to be censored by uh, the, you know, the guardians of the free speech. Uh, so uh, technically speaking, we, uh, we started using SecureDrop last year. Uh, SecureDrop is uh, Aaron's Schwartz's final project or before he, he died. Uh, uh, it's supported by Freedom of the Press Foundation and uh, uh, it's based uh, on Tor and using PGP uh, encryption. And uh, among the, uh, the, uh, the media outlets uh, who adopted uh, SecureDrop, uh, you have the New Yorker, we have uh, Forbes, and others too. Uh, it's an open source, of course, and uh, it's written in uh, Python uh, language. Uh, the secure drop architecture is a bit complicated, but uh, for uh, journalists, but uh, the, the secure drop freedom of the freedom of the press foundation provides uh, installation and uh, teaching uh, to journalists. So if you start from scratch, you can call them and they will uh, talk to you uh, to, to uh, help you to set up uh, your servers uh, and uh, they are teaching uh, sessions too for journalists to learn how to work with PGP and so on. So uh, the, the whistleblower is hidden here. Well, of course, he has to be. <laughs> uh, so he's talking, he's submitting to, to uh, to, through Tor to uh, the application server uh, where files are encrypted in memory, in RAM, and stored on the disk. There is a monitoring server, a separated monitoring server, uh, sending an email to uh, the journalist when, he, when a new leak uh, is detected. Uh, then the journalist connects with a workstation, an ordinary workstation, but through Tor to the application server and retrieves the files, but uh, he cannot open, and he, have not, uh, he has to, to follow the guidelines, not to open the files on his exposed workstation, but to move them on a uh, USB uh, drive to, uh, to a, uh, a laptop uh, air-gapped workstation running Tails secure operating system. So the laptop is the place where uh, actual uh, reading of uh, the documents occur. Uh, so this is uh, this securing uh, uh, model is uh, very strict. 
Um, and also it, uh, it, is, uh, it is expensive because uh, for a small organization, uh, there is a problem of affordability. We need two servers, air gap laptop. Uh, it costs around $3,000. $3, uh, we need uh, also competent IT staff, uh, even if Freedom of the Press Foundation provides training. Uh, and um, also training for using uh, for people who are technically curious to learn to how to use PGP, how to decrypt and encrypt inf information, uh, and, and uh, to, to uh, well, to, to using uh, of course using Tor, uh, the, the Tor browser, which is the probably the uh, easiest part. Uh, so now there is an ongoing fundraising campaign by uh, including uh, uh, Balkan Leaks uh, is one of the selected uh, uh, organizations who will receive uh, probably uh, uh, hardware for uh, implementing the next uh, version of Secure Drop, which is expected to, to, be, uh, to go public uh, in the next months. Uh, there is also Cryptom and Government Accountability Project uh, and FireDogLake.com. Uh, we are, as far as I know, with the, uh, the only European-based organization uh, using Secure Drop. Uh, another system uh, used by uh, uh, Italian and uh, Hungarian uh, uh, media is Global Leaks. Uh, Global Leaks uh, is a concurrent uh, of uh, Secure Drop, but we started using it, but very fast. Uh, uh, we we discovered uh, and we, we, we were warned that there are uh, security issues, which uh, uh, which are very serious, so we decided to stop using it. And even though it's, it's a very uh, flexible system, much more flexible than uh, Strongbox, uh, but it's much, uh, it's much more complicated. Uh, uh, the, the code is there, there is a lot of code, so a big space, uh, big uh, attacking space uh, for on global leaks. Uh, secure drop is. Um, is tighter and uh, well audited by secure security uh, experts like Bruce Schneider, uh, Jacob Applebaum, uh, and others. So we dropped uh, support for uh, Global Leaks, and we are working now only uh, with secure uh, secure drop, uh, uh, waiting to uh, for to see the futures we need. For example, we need to 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 receive uh, uh, leaks uh, that, uh, which will be rerouted to competent journalists. If, if the leak is described as uh, financial data, we need to send it to, uh, to the journalist who is and, uh, savvy with uh, financial data. And, and if it's, uh, if it's uh, energy uh, sector or, uh, or uh, organized crime uh, data, we have to give it to the right person. And for now, we have to decide after we read the data uh, to who will be the best person to work with this material. Um, well, uh, so far, so good. We have the leaks, but uh, then, then comes the after leak time, and it's not easy to, because uh, we got the mega leak or we got uh, the mega FOIA uh, data, and now what? We have uh, hundreds, uh, if not millions, of documents, uh, and it, uh, we have to, uh, to build a system which will comprehensively index those documents and uh, allow us to search inside, uh, to search in emails, to search in PDFs, uh, any kind of data. Uh, so uh, we had uh, uh, such experience, uh, and uh, every time we had to build a custom parser for uh, this kind of data, then 
uh, we use the Sphinx indexer to uh, to make the interface for searching the data. And depending on uh, the uh, if this is open to public or not, we uh, use hidden Tor services uh, service to browse the data. Of course, secured with password and uh, and uh, even better with Tor RC. Uh, uh, a special distribution we give to the rent from with tails to, uh, to 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 be sure that this is the, the, the only one person or only few persons can access this data. Uh, so we have also to uh, to to uh, to solve the problem of sharing and searching in the sensitive material searching encrypted data. Uh, we have uh, some case studies. For example, we built a searchable database of uh, solid citation and award notices from uh, the US government obtained by the Sunlight Foundation. And uh, this is used by many journalists around the world to, to see who is uh, the, the organizations in their country who received grants from the US government. And the original data was uh, uh, in C, C, uh, uh, CSV uh, format, uh, and it was something like 400 uh, gig, gig, gigabytes. So you see, it, 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 you cannot give this to journalists. They don't know what to do with this. You have to build the search engine and to give them the interface to, to, to look inside. So uh, uh, I will try to open it. Uh, it's not switching on. OK, so another case study is a searchable database of leaked emails from uh, one Bulgarian party, so-called BCP leaks, uh, exposing a lot of cases of corruption, misuse, uh, and so on. So we got uh, uh, we got an inbox, many inboxes actually, in inbox format, and we had to export the emails uh, and to build uh, to index them with uh, Sphinx and uh, build building this search engine. Um, another. Uh, tool we develop is uh, a JavaScript-based encrypted data uh, searching tool. We call it the project Mihalia. Uh, it has a sp specific meaning in Bulgarian. To, to run after Mihalia, it means you, you, you're losing your time for nothing. Uh, so uh, if, you, if you try to break uh, uh, to uh, uh, this system is open. Uh, I mean, it, it can be installed anywhere. It's just uh, encrypted uh, files served through HTML, but you, uh, there is no way, because it's encrypted, to know what, the, 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 what kind of searches you do and what kind of information uh, you, are, you, are, uh, you have. Uh, and... Uh, it's uh, it's an interesting concept because it uses uh, it's a JavaScript based search engine. You, you, on the web on the server side, you have only files, index files and data files, and uh, all the logic is implemented in in the in the browser, including uh, well uh, the. Uh, encryption engine, uh, which is probably not uh, the best solution, but uh, for uh, working with, uh, uh, in, well, sharing, uh, the, 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 this was the only thing we, 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 we found, to work remotely from different locations and uh, uh, to, to have a search and uh, search engine and sharing uh, facilities and, and sharing encrypted information too. So uh, 
it's an open source, of course. You can find it on uh, GitHub. Uh, uh, and uh, the search is uh, working this way. You, you send the words, uh, you send a request to the server to find uh, encrypted words. Uh, you retrieve the indexes. Uh, then uh, the indexes uh, uh, give you the list of documents where the words are found. And at the second step, when you click on, uh, on the link, you retrieve the date. And this happens in the browser. So the data process is uh, uh, using the local storage to, when, when you work on the text and you have to redact names, for example, clear some sensitive uh, data uh, which, um, uh, which is not, uh, uh, you are not allowed to publish, for example. Clear, uh, uh, deleting the names of uh, individuals who can be hurt. Uh, so you have to save your uh, work. You save it encrypted in local storage. Uh, and uh, you can uh, then uh, send uh, uh, only the ID of the of the document to uh, to other journalists, uh, and uh, uh, you can send them. Uh, we, we had such a uh, custom Firefox uh, uh, modified to work with big local storage, and uh, having all the database inside, because you can. Uh, local storage is limited to 10 megs, but we, we, we managed to work with 500. Uh, uh, megabytes, uh, a portable Firefox on a USB drive. So you give this, uh, it's air-gapped, and you work with, with this locally, uh, with, the, with the modified documents. Uh, so this, uh, this is one of the, uh, uh, the systems we, uh, we want to develop further to make possible searches uh, uh, with um, 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 now we have simple word search. Uh, we want to make uh, logical uh, searches like and or exclude and so on uh, and to, to, to provide an easy interface to encrypt data because uh, the actual interface is written in Perl and uh, we want to build it in Node.js JS, uh, to, um, uh, and to distribute a package so uh, people who, journalists who need to share sensitive material, they can uh, encode it, they can index it and encrypt it themselves. So, uh, other perspectives we uh, we have to uh, to address is uh, you know the single point of failure problem uh, because even if uh, you use secure drop uh, you uh, the storage is uh, is uh, on a given place and if 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 you are a victim of uh, uh, of attack, uh, you can simply uh, lose your data. Uh, so we want to extend uh, secure drop with uh, distributed storage using Tacho uh, LAFC uh, S, uh, and uh, we have some uh, progress on this side. Uh, but it's not yet uh, ready to be distributed. And another um, interesting document, 
conception, conception, I strongly advise you to read this from Delian Delchev, who worked with us on this uh, Michalia system and also to secure our uh, installation. Uh, he wrote about uh, possible distributed uh, uh, infrastructure for uh, leaks using DHT. And, uh, and this is a very interesting concept, but uh, we lack time and uh, uh, people to uh, develop on this. Uh, okay, so let me show you. Uh, here uh, we have, this is uh, uh, the search engine for the uh, solicitation and the word notices. Notices, so you search for a country, you have a list of documents of uh, uh, all kind of uh, uh, grants awarded by uh, US government. Uh, you have this, oh, it's uh, Bessipe Leaks, uh, search uh, search engine uh, which gives uh, a link to a static HTML uh, generated by uh, Hypermail. So here is the encryption. Oh, that's bad. Let me see if I can move it. No way. Okay, let's me let's try a, a search here. Not found. So you you can explore it at balkanleaks.eu/slash/mi-mihalia. Uh, uh, the password is test test. So you enter the system. And uh, I, I search for audio. Uh, just want to show you how it works with uh, encrypted audio. It's decrypted locally. Also, it works with PDF files uh, and with uh, images, of course, and of course with text. So here you see the indexes retrieved. It's a, it's the debug the debug to to see what uh, how many documents you you retrieve. Uh, so. Those are the documents retrieved from the web server to perform this search, okay? And to display the results. You can find this on uh, GitHub, of course. And uh, let me show you how we work with uh, uh, the submission system, secure drop. So the Tor browser gives uh, onion address here. So you open this onion address. You are the whistleblower, actually. So if it's your first time uh, sending documents, you click here. Uh, you have unique code name to, you have to copy it if you want to read the answers by the journalists because the system is two ways. Uh, uh, communications between the whistleblower and the journalist if you want to have more data or uh, some, some details on, what, uh, on the submission, you, uh, you can uh, contact the whistleblower if you want so. Uh, so you, you copy the code and you continue. Uh, you, here you can put or copy paste the message. Here you can send a, a file and you're submitting this. So the file is now submitted and you can close the browser and, and run away from 
from the place you are, <laughs> where you are. <laughs> so, the, uh, the, for example, the global X system is using uh, a different logic and it takes twice the time to, to, do my, to make a submission uh, because it's uh, asking for some, uh, for asking questions about uh, uh, what kind of submission you are sending, uh, the category and so on. And this is no good because when you when you are a whistleblower, you are stressed and you have to uh, to be uh, uh, to feel comf comfortable with the system that it's not asking too much from you. I'll just send it and forget about it. Uh, okay. So from the journalist side, uh, we have another uh, Tor instance. You connect with the password. Uh, which is uh, written in the torrc file, and uh, we, uh, because we know how to use it, we use tails. We are not asking to uh, whistleblowers to use tails because it's too much, uh, uh, too restrictive. You have to uh, to burn. Uh, your system on a USB drive or a DVD and uh, and so on. Uh, but for for to retrieve the data, we use tails. Okay, so uh, we had uh, we have of course uh, uh, other sources. We are working with. Uh, classic uh, sources, meeting people, uh, not uh, everything uh, received is usable because we have a lot of fakes and uh, the, the, the journalistic work on, on the leaks is very, uh, uh, you have to be very careful because sometimes uh, you receive uh, data which is not uh, which is real, uh, we have, you have to check twice uh, and, 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 and to, uh, it's real, uh, to, to you submit this to experts to verify, to corroborate, of course, uh, before you, 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 you cannot publish if you are not sure 100% that what you, what you see is a real leak and not, uh, and not the, something fake. So thank you. Uh, we're still running for the next big league. <laughs> and uh, if you have questions. Uh, one announcement before the questions. Uh, there will be no break after this talk. Uh, we will start the closing session immediately after the questions. So go ahead. This is a picture from, uh, you know, from the last year protests, where a person with the, <laughs> with the leak <laughs> was intercepted by the police. So, yes, a real, a really simple question. Um, the the WhatsApp you show is the the real one to yes. drop documents and. Talking about user comfort, um, I'm not really sure people are really comfortable if you were trying to push documents to you, they open a website with a big logo on the top saying, hey, I'm sending documents to... Yes, this is... Well, uh, well, yeah. Yes, this is not... Uh, yeah, but you cannot write it in small letters. Uh, I mean, sure, but if I'm, I imagine someone send a document, someone comes on the desk, is trying to uh, push the, the windows to the other side or minimize it, but you have on the top, I'm lacking documents from the inside. So. Yeah, yeah, the, sh sure, <laughs> we can work on this uh, to, to provide some uh, uh, innocent uh, title, for example, <laughs> my, uh, yeah. my vacation. In, in Greece or something like this, you know, which, which changes dynamically for, 
for sure. at every window you open. This is a good idea. Or something like a, a, a regular website. Yeah, just... yeah, like uh, New York Times or okay. CNN. Yeah. yeah, that's a good suggestion. Um, you mentioned the two-way communication system yes. Secure Drop, Drop provides. Um, how many people use it actually? To, uh, I, I in mean, our organization. Or? No, I mean, how how often do you have to get back to someone who yeah, leaks? it's uh, it's uh, not very often. Uh, to be honest, uh, on, uh, I have only one uh, such case in my practice, but I cannot, uh, of course. Uh, speak for the others uh, okay. who are using this. Uh, yes. Let's say uh, from five leaks, only one uh, uh, person uh, exchanged information further. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, because that, that's a, um, well, it, uh, it's not a surprise because uh, you're increasing the risk if you, if you come back to, to, to the, talking to the journalist, you have to keep the code and so on. It's, it's not very comfortable. Yeah. Okay, so uh, thank you once again. <laughs>